Okay, here I am. It's 90 minutes since I made the last video. It's uh, that time of day, 93 degrees out, 31 July 2018. Okay, I'll come around to the other side of this stuff here. So let me just zoom into the screen. I like that. Okay, well, that's good. Alright, so here we are. Here's the front of the uh, Panasonic RX, oh, damn, wait, here, do it this way, open with that, there we go, there's the front of the RX F5, there's the top of it, in case you didn't know, it's got ambience, stereo mono, line-in, actual, selector switch, with radio and tape, power off, this has a soft touch mechanism, which means it's just that. You lightly touch the buttons for it to work. Okay, and then here are your buttons. Here's your tone, balance, volume, and like that. Okay. And here are all your inputs. It's got 9 volt in, does not have a transformer inside. So you have to use either batteries or an adapter to change from, you know, wall voltage to 9 volts in. Headphone jack, external speaker jacks, dual microphones and line in and line out via RCA jacks, okay? Then there's the back. Battery compartment takes one and plus five. That end, the bottom, the back, that's where the screws go. One short one goes here, long one's going to the rest of them. And as I crack it open, I take a picture. I don't just open it and take a picture. I take a picture as I open it. Okay, so there's the front of it, it's cracked open with the door open, okay, and of course the front just comes off, but I didn't know that before. So and then here's this side, and this has a plug for something, but I took a picture of it as I went, so here we go. This is a plug for the speakers, which unplugs from right there, okay, that's the speaker thing. But the other one is, well, I didn't show that, but it was the other wire was the uh, indicators, which I unscrew, but then I put the screw back in the hole, okay, so I don't lose the screw, all right? And here's just the before view of that, and the side of that, and the side of this, and the speakers, which are right there, 3 ohm and that big. Moving along, we've got, we flipped it over, or actually we got the deck out with just the one screw and we didn't put that screw back because, all right, so let's see, going forward. So here's this, <coughs> and uh, just show you that detail over so briefly. There's a bunch of springs that you gotta be careful of, so there's uh, one, two, three springs holding this plate on. Kind of, sort of, not really, but, and there's that. Okay, this flipped over, this is before I took the belts off, so there's three belts, a motor belt and two secondary belts. This one's driven, oh, that one's there, and this one's over here, and it drives all these gears, and it's so much fun. And then here, I took the plate off. Just showing you the belt path, so you can see that. And then here I took the flat belt off. Take a picture, you know, got to know where these belts go, okay. And took the flywheel off. And here's the, the small one goes on this pulley and the big one goes on that pulley. And there's a gear there and just all kinds of stuff. So then there's the three belts I took off, okay. And I measured, that's the flat belt. It's about, the old one's that big. Another belt, it's about that big. And the smallest belt was about that big. Okay, so then here are the two uh, counter belts. Okay. And the old one was about that big. I put a one and a half inch in instead. And this one was about that big, and I put one about oh 
65 millimeters in there instead of 70. And that's it. So, without further ado, let me wide out. Okay. And show you what I want to show you here. As I have this apart, right, so just here, I'll just zoom in manually, it's quicker. Alright, so here we are, I have it apart. And I just want to show you that how this works. Okay, so this is it's powered up and um, so if you pull the record tab, which is this one here. Goes like that way. You can't see that way. What's in the way? That's okay. So if I do it like this, so here, okay, hit stop. So pull this, all right. Just tap that. That's so it's like well, here. Here's play. Okay. Stop. Play. Okay. Stop. One touch record. Fast forward, and rewind. But now we'll do it with a tape in there, so I don't have the speakers hooked up. But I just wanted to show you that before I wouldn't do that, it wouldn't stop or wouldn't release the tape actually. So now it'll record, it'll play, it'll fast forward, it'll rewind, and in play mode, it will cue and review. So here's supposed to have Q, Q and rewind, or Q and review, so, well, okay, okay, so the motor's old, so when I hit Q, let me flip it around so you can see. while it's in play mode. So can you see that? Yeah, barely. See how the motor stops? So if you've got to, okay, it'll fast forward, but wait, huh? wait, okay, there we are. It's in play mode. And if you got to do this, it slows the motor down to a crawl. It's here. So it won't do this, it will do that, but it won't, well now it's doing it, maybe it hasn't done that in a long time, it doesn't remember how to do it, that's play mode, so here's, well, it doesn't like that, the motor's still running along, Okay, well, if you absolutely got to I mean, I could put a smaller belt in here, but I don't really want to overstress it. Um, but anyway, it'll rewind just fine. It'll fast forward just fine. Or, oh wait, there we go. That's that way. Oops, sorry. This is this way. But if you got a Q in review, it's just... I don't know. I could put a smaller belt in, but I don't want, want it to bind down or have to change the speed of the motor, but we'll check all that later in a, few, in a little bit. See if we can put a smaller belt in, but uh, uh, anyway, that's all I know. I just wanted to show you. And of course, the uh, the tape kind of works this year. So, and see that rolling along there? So that works. Okay. That. There we go. 
So I've had enough fun. Just want to show you how that works like that. Hopefully you've seen that. Okay, good day. Bye. How we go? I gotta go. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.